Hey guys, I'm Marco Nieves for Obsessively Geek, and today we're going to talk about Pebble's recently announced Pebble Time Watch. You're watching Obsessively Geek. We obsess so you don't have to. So last week, Pebble, the company famous for releasing the first truly smart watch, announced its newest product, the Pebble Time. The Pebble Time has a color e-paper display that allows it to be always on, yet still get a week of battery life and is readable in sunlight. It's also thinner and lighter than the original Pebble, the Pebble Steel. It also has a new operating system which seems rather interesting although it's a timeline kind of like Google Glass's much maligned interface so I don't know how that's going to go. Yet, I mean, even with all these features this announcement kind of felt flat to me. Sure, it's a cool gadget but nothing really stands out to me as a must-buy feature, which is accentuated by the fact that I am, as the website name says, obsessively geek, and a notorious early adopter. Now maybe it's just me, because the Kickstarter campaign for this thing is on fire right now, but I just don't get it. You interface with it by using buttons on the side instead of just reaching out and, you know, touching what you want to interact with. Yes, I'm talking about a touch screen here. The buttons are an abstraction that make things a little more complicated than what I want it to be. It feels like a product that would have been exciting before we had Android Wear watches and we're just around the corner from an Apple watch. The microphone is a nice addition to the Pebble, but like Android Wear and the Apple watch, I'd like to be able to do more with it. I have fantasies of being Dick Tracy and communicating through my watch. I'll let me do that. Android Wear hit it out of the park for me the first time I saw it running on a Moto 360. It gave me the notifications I cared about. I could do pretty much anything with my voice as opposed to just replying to notifications like on the Pebble Time. And it gave relevant information at relevant times. The same can be said for the Apple Watch. Now, I'm not completely sold on the Apple Watch. I mean, I think the design is way too 1950s style retro futuristic. However, maybe that will change when I finally see it and when I have, finally have one in my hands. However, everything else about the Apple Watch hits the mark for me. My wife was obsessed with something as simple as sending me her heartbeat when she saw it announced. I think in software, the Apple Watch hits it out of the park on nearly everything. It's just that design that bothers me. Just like on the Android Wear side with the Apple Watch, I can interact with Siri, take phone calls, dictate replies or voice messages. It has a smooth looking interface, one that I won't get lost in and one that I can figuratively just reach out and touch without any abstractions between me and what I want to do. Sure, there's a digital crown, but that's there to make certain interface elements easier rather than being a crutch and rather be than being the only thing you interface with. You know what I mean? You know what I mean. To me, the Pebble Time just feels a little irrelevant when things like Android Wear and the Apple Watch are out. It feels like Blackberry trying to stay relevant when the iPhone and Android are far better systems. And with a price tag of $200 US, it's still in the expensive range now. It doesn't have the price advantage anymore. Am I right or am I completely off base on this? Leave your comments. Tell us what you think. And subscribe if you want to see more videos.